This is the WWE SmackDown April 19, 2024 full show results video which takes place at PPG Paints Arena in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The show started with a match between AJ Styles vs LA Knight to become the number one contender for WWE Undisputed Championship, and the result of this match was AJ Styles won the match by pinfall with the phenomenal forearm, earning a shot against Cody Rhodes for the WWE Undisputed Championship at Backlash in France. In the loading dock, Solo Sokoa, wearing a suit as befits your new tribal chief, formally introduces Paul Heyman to the newest member of the bloodline, Tama Tonga, who he introduces as his MFT and he asks a sputtering Heyman if Kevin Owens is in the building and demands he lead him to him. General Manager Nick Aldis is in the ring with a belt or belts under wraps on a podium and introduce Triple H. Hunter welcomes us to the show, notes the sellout, and talks about what a great job Aldis and Raw General Manager Adam Pearce are doing to manage their brands and he wants to see the brands represented in a way that befits them, and he bids Nick to introduce A-Town Down Under. Grayson Waller says they gave Awesome Truth their second place belts and now they get to give the real champs their new title belts. Austin Theory riffs poorly on Truth calling Triple H a magician and Triple congratulates them on their win and unveils their new WWE Tag Team Championship belts. Grayson fakes Hunter out and shakes Austin's hand instead of his, leaving the game hanging and Aldis gives them a talking to and says he'll make A-Town Clown under disappear permanently if they try anything like that again, and he says the fatal four-way number one contenders match starts now. Then Naomi is interviewed backstage and she says she's not going to let friendship get in the way of her opportunity tonight and she's going to make the most of it. Last week she made Tiffy Time feel the glow, and she's keeping that energy rolling and walking into the WWE draft as champion. Then we saw a match between Authors of Pain vs Legato del Fantasma vs New Catch Republic vs Street Profits to become the number one contenders for the WWE Tag Team Championship, and the result of this match was Street Profits won the match by pinfall with Sky High Neckbreaker combination on Angel Garza, becoming the number one contenders to the WWE Tag Team Championship. Byron Saxton interviews Bailey backstage and she says seeing Rhea vacate made her appreciate hers more and we all know with the draft coming up things are bound to change, but she's still going to hold on to her title. Solo Sokoa is backstage with Paul Heyman and a nervous Heyman apologizes for not being able to find Kevin Owens but Solo walks off without him and through to Gorilla. Paul lectures him about usurping the tribal chief's decisions, and Sokoa cuts him off and asks him if he's done yet and Heyman backs down, asking if Tama Tande is coming, but Solo just brandishes the taped thumb at him. Back from the commercial, Paul Heyman explains the backstage politics within the bloodline right now and before he can get going, Solo Sokoa takes the mic from him and gets overwhelmed in booze as he tries to speak. He says last week he had to lose a brother in order to find a new one, his MFT, Tama Tonga. Then on cue, Kevin Owens is thrown out on the stage, bleeding from the forehead, wearing the crimson mask and Tama Tonga comes out behind him and kicks him down the ramp before joining the bloodline in the ring. Owens is helped to the stage but Spirit of 70 sexes himself up and runs to the ring to brawl with Solo and Tama, double leg mounted punches, KO won't be stopped but the Samoan spike cuts him off, and Tonga lights on him with mounted punches, blood smearing across his abs as he tears at Kevin's wound. Back from the commercial, Nick Aldis drags Paul Heyman out into the parking lot and shows him two T-Bone rental cars and asks what he knows, saying on his show they settle it in the ring. Next week is the draft, lots of eyeballs, and he won't tolerate this kind of behavior next week and it's up to him to make sure the bloodline understands and losing isn't the only thing that has consequences, he says, and he slaps Paul on the chest before leaving. Then we saw a match between Carlito vs Santos Escobar, and the result of this match was Santos Escobar defeated Carlito by pinfall with the Phantom Driver. Kayla Braxton interviews Damage Control in a skybox and Dakota Kai gets upset about EO Sky getting called a former champion and reminds everyone that Damage Control is the most dominant force in WWE. Kabuki Warriors are still tag team champions and that's not going to change, but interrupted by Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair, arriving in a skybox next to Damage Controls and leading to much bickering. Back from the commercial, we get footage of a Cody Rhodes interview from London earlier today and he says we're in an undiscovered country now and he's keeping his promise to bring the title all around the world. AJ Styles is his number one contender, and we've got two Georgia boys duking it out in the heart of France and he gives AJ his bona fide before saying he looks forward to their match. In the main event of the show, we saw a match between Bayley vs Naomi for the WWE Women's Championship, and the result of this match was Bayley won the match by disqualification when Tiffany Stratton ran in and hammered Bayley with an elbow. Tiffany smashing Naomi's face into the announced desk, throwing Bailey into the steel steps, putting them both in the ring and hitting the prettiest moonsault ever on both of them. Stratton stands tall while we cut back to the skyboxes, damage control elated and Bianca and Jade unhappy, and the show goes off the air.